the, whose refulgent staff and summons clear, Minerva's flock long time was wont to be, although thyself and herald, famous here, the last of heralds, death, has snatched away he calls on all alike, nor even deigns to spare the office that himself sustains thy locks were whiter than the plumes displayed by Leda's paramour in ancient time, but thou wast worthy ne'er to have decayed, or, asin like, to know a second prime, worthy for whom some goddess should have won new life, oft kneeling to Apollo's son, commissioned to convene with hasty call the gowned tribes, how graceful wouldst thou stand so stood Silenius erst in Priam's hall, wing-footed messenger of Jove's command, and so, Eurybates when he addressed to Peleus' son Atreides proud behest dread queen of sepulchres, whose rigorous laws and watchful eyes, run through the realms below, oh, oft too adverse to Minerva's cause, too often to the muse not less a foe, chose meaner marks, and with more equally impious useless drones, earth's burthen and its shame, flow, therefore, tears for him from every eye, all ye disciples of the muses, weep assembling, all, in robes of sable dye, around his bier, lament his endless sleep, and let complaining elegy rehearse in every school her sweetest saddest verse.